Welcome to Inaware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an SA38 transaction automation script to generate reports based on an SAP Quick Viewer query. We will set up our automation script to generate custom Excel Material Master reports, which will populate in this Material Master data folder. First, we will access SAP manually using SAP Quick Viewer to find the name of our report, and then we will create our Process Runner SA38 automation script. In SAP, let's enter SQVI and press Enter. For Quick View, click the Search Help icon and select Mara Mark. Hit Enter, and now we have access to the Quick View menu. Now from the Quick View menu, we will select Additional Functions, then Display Report Name. Let's copy this assigned report name by selecting it and pressing Ctrl-C on the keyboard. Hit Continue, and we will exit out of the Quick Viewer screen by clicking the Back button. Let's open Process Runner Enterprise and double-click on New Transaction. Now in the New Process pop-up window and the Transaction Code box, enter SA38. Let's press the Start Recording button and log on to the appropriate SAP system in our SAP landscape. In Program, use Ctrl-V on the keyboard to paste the report name we copied from SAP Quick View, and then click Execute. Here in the Download Material Details screen, let's enter our desired plan number. For File Store, let's enter a folder path and a file name, then click Execute. In the Transfer Download Material Details to a local file window, Let's check the With Column Headers checkbox, and then click Transfer. Now let's click the Back button twice to end the recording process. Here in the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, we can see that Process Runner has generated a template and data set in this internal instance of Excel with our information for the ABAP program name and plant number. On the row for Path and the Mapping Type dropdown, let's change the Mapping Type to System Value. This will enable our automation script to automatically name our file with the date and time that the automation script was run. Let's enter our default folder path, Material Master Data, then click on the System Value menu, select the Timestamp option, and then add .xls. Our path and file name will no longer come from iBook Data. The file path will be our new fixed value, and our Excel name will be generated from the SAP system values. Here in our Home ribbon, we can see that our default start row is already set to 2, which we can leave for our script. The Launch SAP GUI checkbox is currently not selected. Let's execute this script without this box being checked, so we can see how Process Runner can auto-detect when this needs to be enabled and provides a pop-up stating that it can automatically check this for us. We are ready to execute our script, which we could do from here, However, let's go to the iBook ribbon so we can see the SAP success messaging right directly to the iBook. Let's hit the Run button, and we are prompted to save our script to our hard drive or network. Confirm your SAP logon credentials, and now we get the pop-up stating that this transaction requires the SAP GUI to be launched. Click Yes to have Process Runner auto-fix the launch SAP GUI error, and then click No to bypass the debug option. Save the file again, Hit the Run button, and Process Runner will now automatically launch the SAP GUI each time we execute this file. We have the SAP success messaging right in our iBook, and here in the Material Master Data folder is the new Excel file which has just been generated. If we go to the Scheduler tab of Process Runner, click on Schedule, and follow the drop-down prompts, we can set Process Runner to run these reports automatically at the scheduled time of our choosing, fully automating the report generating process. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.